In this video, I'll be giving you a rough overview of how to convert such primitive technology to something more modern such as an MP4 file. If you do a quick Google search, you will find that the VHS tapes only have a shelf life of about 10 to 25 years. It may seem like a long time, but remember, 10 years ago is when DVD was still the shit, 2008. First of all, you'll need somewhere of playing the content, either a VHS player or a camera, depending on which method your videos are stored on. In this case, I'm using Mini DV, so I have this old Sony camera that I'm able to load the tapes into. Just out of sheer curiosity, it's quite interesting to note how I can store all these tapes and more on a tape that is a fraction of the size of just one of these, while each tape only stores 60 minutes of footage. Anyway, what you'll need now are these old composite slash RCA slash phono cables with the same ends on both sides if you have a VHS player or a 3.5mm jack on one side if you have a camera. You will then need some sort of interface, in my case I chose the EasyCat from eBay. The other option is to use Firewire which we'll end up doing with this camera as it turns out that most of the options on eBay are EasyCat, spelt with the full word easy or knockoffs as the brand has now decided to use EZCat. All these models have turned out to be fake knockoffs with a lower quality. I'll try to link some of the better ones down below. Once you have the camera ready and the EasyCat attached to your computer, and camera you're ready to go. I think this is the easiest to do on a Mac as no extra software is needed. Just open up QuickTime and click new recording. But in the drop down menu select your device and make sure you select it under audio also as I have forgotten to do here. Now just hit recording QuickTime and play on your device. The way this works is that you'll have to sit around or go away and wait for the entire thing to be recorded. Once the entire thing has been done you can just save it down to your desktop and you'll now notice that the file is huge. Just open up Handbrake link below and import your file and choose the output location. You can now choose one of the presets on the site or leave it as the default and press start. Depending on the video length and the power of your Mac, the video will be transcoded in a few seconds to minutes and you'll now have a file that is small in comparison on your desktop which you can now share easily.